Theodore von Karman Hungarian, Szalaszkislaki, Karman Todor, Szalo Stroke Kilki, Ka Rma N Todor, the 11th of May 1881 to the 6th of May 1963, was a Hungarian-American mathematician, aerospace engineer, and physicist who was active primarily in the fields of aeronautics and astronautics. He is responsible for many key advances in aerodynamics, notably his work on supersonic and hypersonic airflow characterization. He is regarded as the outstanding aerodynamic theoretician of the 20th century. According to Georg Marx he was one of the Martians. <laughs> Early life Karman was born into a Jewish family in Budapest, Austria-Hungary as Karman Todor. One of his ancestors was Rabbi Judah Lo Ben Bezalel. He studied engineering at the city's Royal Joseph Technical University, known today as Budapest University of Technology and Economics. After graduating in 1902 he moved to the German Empire and joined Ludwig Prahn DTL at the University of Göttingen, where he received his doctorate in 1908. He taught at Göttingen for four years. In 1912 he accepted a position as director of the Aeronautical Institute at RWTH Aachen University, one of the leading German universities. His time at RWTH Aachen was interrupted by service in the Austro-Hungarian Army from 1915 to 1918, during which time he designed the Petrochi Karman Zurevich, an early helicopter. After the war he returned to Aachen with his mother and sister Josephine de Karman. Some of his students took an interest in gliding and saw the competitions of the Ron Rossitten Gesellschaft as an opportunity to advance in aeronautics. Carmen engaged Wolfgang Klemperer to design a competitive glider. Josephine encouraged Theodore to expand his science beyond national boundaries. They organized the first international conference in mechanics held in September 1922 in Innsbruck. Subsequent conferences were organized as the International Union of Theoretical and Applied Mechanics. Carmen left his post at RWTH Aachen in 1930. Topic: <inaudible> Emigration and JPL. Apprehensive about developments in Europe, in 1930 Carmen accepted the directorship of the Guggenheim Aeronautical Laboratory at the California Institute of Technology (GALCIT). The directorship included provision for a research assistant, and he selected Frank Wattendorf, an American who had been studying for three years in Aachen. Another student E. E. Seckler took up the problem of making reliable airframes for aircraft, and with Carmen's support, developed an understanding of aeroelasticity. In 1936, Carmen engaged the legal services of Andrew G. Haley to form the Aerojet Corporation, with his graduate student Frank Molina and their experimental rocketry collaborator Jack Parsons, to manufacture JATO rocket motors. He later became a naturalized citizen of the United States. German activity during World War II increased U.S. military interest in rocket research. During the early part of 1943, the Experimental Engineering Division of the United States Army Air Forces Material Command forwarded to Karman reports from British intelligence sources describing German rockets capable of traveling more than 100 miles in a letter dated 2 August 1943, Karman provided the Army with his analysis of and comments on the German program. In 1944, he and others affiliated with GALCIT founded the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, which is now a federally funded research and development center managed and operated by Caltech under a contract from NASA. In 1946, he became the first chairman of the Scientific Advisory Group which studied aeronautical technologies for the United States Army Air Forces. He also helped found AGARD, the NATO Aerodynamics Research Oversight Group 1951, the International Council of the Aeronautical Sciences 1956, the International Academy of Astronautics 1960, and the von Karman Institute for Fluid Dynamics in Brussels 1956. He eventually became an important figure in supersonic motion, noting in a seminal paper that aeronautical engineers were pounding hard on the closed door leading into the field of supersonic motion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Last years. In June 1944, Carmen underwent surgery for intestinal cancer in New York City. The surgery caused two hernias, and Carmen's recovery was slow. 
Early in September, while still in New York, he met U.S. Army Air Forces Commanding General Henry H. Arnold on a runway at LaGuardia Airport, and Arnold then proposed that Carmen should move to Washington, D.C. to lead the Scientific Advisory Group and become a long-range planning consultant to the military. Carmen returned to Pasadena around mid-September, was appointed to the SAG position on October 23, 1944, and left Caltech in December 1944. At the age of 81, Carmen was the recipient of the first National Medal of Science, bestowed in a White House ceremony by President John F. Kennedy. He was recognized for his leadership in the science and engineering basic to aeronautics, for his effective teaching and related contributions in many fields of mechanics, for his distinguished counsel to the armed services, and for his promoting international cooperation in science and engineering." Carmen never married. He died on a trip to Aachen, Germany, in 1963, and his body was returned to the United States, to be entombed in the Beth Olam Mausoleum at what is now the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Carmen's fame was in the use of mathematical tools to study fluid flow, and the interpretation of those results to guide practical designs. He was instrumental in recognizing the importance of the swept back wings that are ubiquitous in modern jet aircraft. Selected contributions Specific contributions include theories of non-elastic buckling, unsteady wakes in circumcylinder flow, stability of laminar flow, turbulence, airfoils in steady and unsteady flow, boundary layers, and supersonic aerodynamics. He made additional contributions in other fields, including elasticity, vibration, heat transfer, and crystallography. His name also appears in a number of concepts, for example, Foppel von Karman equations, large deflection of elastic plates, Born von Karman boundary condition in solid state physics, Born von Karman lattice model, model for the lattice dynamics of a crystal, Chaplygin Karman Chen approximation, potential flow, Falkowicz Karman equation, transonic flow, von Karman constant, wall turbulence. Karman line aerodynamics astronautics von Karman Gabrielli diagram transportation Karman Howarth equation turbulence K function Karman Penner flux fraction combustion Karman Nikuradze correlation viscous flow co-authored by Johann Nikuradze Karman Polhausen parameter boundary layers Karman Treff's transformation airfoil theory Prawn DTL von Karman law velocity in open channel flow von Karman integral equation boundary layers von Karman ogive supersonic aerodynamics von Karman vortex street flow past cylinder von Karman chen compressibility correction vortex shedding von Karman swirling flow topic selected writings Topic. Books Carmen, T. Vaughan, Burgers, J. M. General Aerodynamic Theory, 2 vols, Julius Springer. Carmen, Theodore Vaughan, B. O. M. A. Mathematical Methods in Engineering, An Introduction to the Mathematical Treatment of Engineering Problems. McGraw-Hill. p. 505. ASIN B0006 AOTLK. Carmen, T. Vaughn, B. O. M. A. Aerodynamics, Selected Topics in the Light of Their Historical Development. Dover Books on Aeronautical Engineering. Dover Publications. p. 224. ISBN 0486434850. Carmen, T. Vaughn. Collected Works of Dr. T. von Karman, 1902-1951, 4 vols, Butterworth Scientific Publications. Karman, T. Vaughn From Low Speed Aerodynamics to Astronautics. Pergamon Press. ASIN B000H40VPO. Karman, T. Vaughn, Edson, L. The Wind and Beyond. T. von Karman Pioneer in Aviation and Pathfinder in Space. Little Brown. p. 376. ISBN 0316907537. Autobiography 
Four years after Carmen died his autobiography The Wind and Beyond was published by Lee Edson with Little, Brown and Company. Seven major academic journals then followed with book reviews by noted authors, as the book was non-technical, written for the general reader, Thomas P. Hughes cited that as problematic given the technical context of Carmen's work. Hughes conceded that Carmen "...exhibited a genius for finding the simplifying assumptions that made possible the mathematical analysis." While acknowledging Carmen's gifts as an applied mathematician and teacher, Stanley Corzin also points out that the autobiography is marriage between a man and his ego." In the later part of his life, Carmen was a "...planner of global symposia and societies," and a "...consultant to the upper echelons of the Pentagon Corps." On creativity, Carmen wrote, "...the finest creative thought comes not out of organized teams but out of the quiet of one's own world." In his review I. B. Hawley noted, penetrating insights into the creative process, its ingredients, nurture and exploitation." According to Hawley, Carmen was given to "...convivial drinking and the company of beautiful women." An enthusiastic review by J. Keston advised readers to buy and study the book, and prize it as a reference. On the other hand, Charles Susskind faults Carmen for his contempt for the conventional gaminary. Susskind expected the book to show some reaction to Werner von Braun's coming to America, and some clarification of the HSUE Shen Chen affair, rather than lapses into generalities. Susskind also tags Carmen as a militarist, a forthright engineer who is quite unabashed about his lifelong association with military authorities in whatever country he happened to reside at the time. Sidney Goldstein, who also wrote the Royal Society memoir for Carmen, reviewed the autobiography and remembered, "...an eminent engineer and scientist, warm-hearted and witty, much traveled, well-known by many, devoted to international collaboration, who, in his own words, as a scientist found the military the most comfortable group to deal with." Topic honors and legacy Each year since 1960 the American Society of Civil Engineers has awarded to an individual the Theodore von Karman Medal, in recognition of distinguished achievement in engineering mechanics. Established in 1968, the Theodore von Karman Prize has been awarded by the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics to recognize outstanding application of mathematics in mechanics or engineering. In 1968, Karman was inducted into the International Air and Space Hall of Fame. In 2005 Carmen was named as an Honorary Fellow of the Arnold Engineering Development Center AEDC. Fellows of the AEDC are recognized as people who have made exceptionally distinguished contributions to the center's flight testing mission. Craters on Mars and the Moon are named in his honor. The boundary between the atmosphere and space is named the Carmen Line. In Irvine, CA there is a five-mile street that runs through the heart of Irvine's business center named after him. In 1977, RWTH Aachen University named its newly constructed lecture hall complex Carmen Auditorium in memory of Carmen's outstanding research contributions at the university's Aeronautical Institute. An auditorium at JPL is also named after Carmen. An auditorium at AFRL is named after Arnold and Carmen. University of Southern California Professor Shirley Thomas after nearly two decades of petitioning was able to create a postage stamp in his honor. In 1963 President Kennedy awarded Carmen the National Medal of Science, Dr. Von Karman, it is a great pleasure for me to select you as the first recipient of the National Medal of Science. I know of no one else who more completely represents all of the areas with which this award is appropriately concerned science, engineering, and education. In 1957, Carmen became the first recipient of the Ludwig Prahn DTL Ring from Deutsche Gesellschaft für Luft und Raumfahrt German Society for Aeronautics and Astronautics for outstanding contribution in the field of aerospace engineering. In 1956, Carmen founded a research institute in St. Genesius Road, Belgium, which is now named after him, the von Karman Carmen Institute for Fluid Dynamics. In 1948 Carmen was awarded the Franklin Medal. The American Mathematical Society selected Carmen as its Josiah Willard Gibbs Lecturer for 1939. The International von Carmen Wings Award Banquet is an annual affair. The only still airworthy Lisanov Li-2 plane Reg. is named after him. Topic further reading I Chong, Thread of the Silkworm. Perseus Books Group 1995. ISBN 0-465-08716-7.
D. S. Hallisey Jr., Father of Supersonic Flight, Theodor von Karman M. H. Gorn, The Universal Man, Theodore von Karman's Life in Aeronautics Smithsonian Institution Press, Washington, 1992. G. Gabrielli, Theodore von Karman, Adi Akkad, Psy. Torino C. L., Psy. Fis, Matt. Mator. 98 1963–1964, 471–485. J. L. Greenberg and J. R. Goodstein. Theodore von Karman and Applied Mathematics in America. A Century of Mathematics in America II, Providence, R.I., 1989, 467 to 477. R.C. Hall, Shaping the Course of Aeronautics, Rocketry, and Astronautics. Theodore von Karman, 1881 to 1963. J. Astronaut. Psi, 26 4, 1978, 369 to 386. J. Palasek, Theodore von Karman and Applied Mathematics. Czech, Pokroki Mat. F. Y. Z. Astronom. 28 6, 1983, 301 to 310. Wattendorf, F. L. 1956. Theodore von Karman, International Scientist. Z. Flugwis, 4 to 163 minus 165. Wattendorf, F. L. Molina, F. J. 1964. Theodore von Karman, 1881 to 1963. Astronautica Acta, 10 to 81. Topic. References. Topic. External links. Works by or about Theodore von Karman at Internet Archive Judith R. Goodstein and Carolyn Kopp 1981, Guide to the von Karman Collections, Institute Archives, Robert A. Millikan Library, California Institute of Technology, Pasadena, California. O'Connor, John J., Robertson, Edmund F. Theodore von Karman. MacTutor History of Mathematics Archive, University of St. Andrews. JPL Director 1938-44 from Jet Propulsion Laboratory The von Karman Institute for Fluid Dynamics in Belgium Theodore von Karman from American National Biography Video recording of the N. Peters's lecture on life and work of Theodore von Karman Theodore von Karman at Find a Grave